these two crypto projects have been killing it in the market lately. Jasmine has gotten 300% in profit in the last 30 days and Vecane has been going well. However, Vecane is not that much because it has only pumped to about 60% in this bull market condition. Well, I still get comparisons between these two crypto projects. So in this video, we will be comparing both coins. But before getting into the discussion, please note that I'm not a financial advisor. Anything I say about coins I talk about is based on my research and opinions. So when investing in any coin I recommend, kindly do a little more research to be on the safer side and do not forget to invest wisely. Without much saying, let's get into the discussion. I know Vecane isn't doing as well as Jasmine coin right now, but I still feel like Vecane is the best. For me, I think Vecane is better because of its professional underneath success. Jasmine is a good crypto, but I think it's only pumping because of the bull market. Finally, when looking for a crypto to invest in, go for cryptos like Vecane that have authenticity and are top-notch. You can buy Jasmine, but please invest in what you can afford to lose. Before ending this video, let's dive deep into both coins. Jasmine is an Internet of Things platform company on a mission to provide the infrastructure that allows anybody to use data safely and securely. This is to be achieved with the Jasmine platform created by the developers. In recent years, the valuable data generated from everyday life has been possessed by a small number of giant platformers in the global market. Jasmine Coin was launched in 2021 by Jasmine Incorporated, a corporation run by former Sony, NYSE, Sony executives and led by Chairman Ando Gwe, Sony's former president and chief operating officer. In theory, Jasmine promises to help end users monetize their personal data eventually. Users would upload their personal information to the Jasmine Personal Data Locker, PDL, in exchange for Jasmine tokens while enterprises pay service fees in those same tokens to access this data. Similar data licensing deals are already available to users on a far smaller scale. Jasmine aims to enlarge this pipeline by allowing users to add more data by connecting Internet of Things devices, making the data more valuable to buyers. Having a centralized location for clean data will also increase its value. The current century is sometimes called the century of data in which people, machines, and information are building new relationships. The developers strongly believe that Jasmine can help Japan take a leading role in creating such a world. Recently, there has been a growing concern regarding data protection. There seems to be a situation where personal data is excessively protected so companies can find it more difficult to utilize and use the individual's data. The use of data in companies is dominated by vertically integrated systems and there are many challenges to realizing data sharing across companies. With Jasmine services, solutions can be offered to these problems. The team believes that it is important to build a data ecosystem that creates a virtuous circle where both individuals and companies can benefit from the exchange of data. Personal data cannot be used due to various concerns. They also believe that the formation of this ecosystem will not only improve the situation but also contribute to reducing labor costs and expenses that companies are struggling to achieve. By using an effective reward system, Jasmine aims to create an environment where individuals participate based on their own will and companies will be able to create better products and services by making full use of the data. Also, Jasmine set out to form an expandable ecosystem. According to the white paper, Jasmine will attract and increase the number of end users for the platform by working with the member companies of the Jasmine initiative to develop new solutions while deploying its core services, SKC and SG. Through the applications on the Jasmine platform, companies can leverage blockchain to provide innovative solutions as well as reduce labor costs and server hosting fees. On the other hand, the users feel comfortable as they are assured about security while enjoying the company's services. Thus, the team envisions that the data lockers will spread widely across areas, ages, and genders by creating a system that benefits both companies and users. Finally, the team believes that an effective reward system is essential to building a healthy data ecosystem. Just as personal data has been concentrated within centralized companies and these companies that use it are more and more dominating the world, the Jasmine team is now aware that personal data turns out to be the new oil of the digital age. The fact that the increase in utilizing personal data can generate huge profits clearly shows the value of this new resource. Therefore, there should be a fair economic environment in which companies that use this resource, which is data, pay each data producer a fair reward price. On the Jasmine platform, companies have to clearly show individuals the scope and purpose of how they will use personal data. 
they have to obtain permission and grant rewards in exchange for the data. As rewards with concrete value need to be offered, individuals will learn and recognize the value of their data through these rewards and, at the same time, will become increasingly motivated to share it with companies. As the value of these rewards is tied to both quantity and quality, data producers may have a better awareness of it when receiving higher rewards. The idea that personal data will be used in a democratic way will raise people's awareness of its value in a broader context. As a consequence, companies will also become more conscious of this ecosystem while collecting data and try to make further use of it. This is where the Jasmine token comes in. The Jasmine token is a custom token created on the Ethereum platform. It is based on the ERC-20 standard. Therefore, it enjoys the security and processing power of the Ethereum network. Jasmine has a total supply of 50 billion, with a circulating supply of over 48 billion Jasmine coins. Most cryptocurrency exchanges support ERC-20 tokens, making buying Jasmine relatively straightforward. Some of these exchanges include Binance, Coinbase Pro, Gate.io, KuCoin, DigiPhoenix. Investors can also use Uniswap and other Ethereum-based decentralized exchanges to trade Jasmine tokens. For most investors, Coinbase Pro is the logical choice. The exchange is available in the U.S. and the platform has the second highest liquidity among its peers. 24-hour values traded can exceed $20 million. In a digitalized world, individuals do not only act as customers who enjoy the convenience of IT devices, but also as data providers who produce different types of data around their living environment, the platform's white paper states. We believe that the ownership of this data shall belong to the individuals themselves, not to a centralized corporation. The idea is to build an infrastructure and environment powered by blockchain technology that allows users to manage their personal data by themselves, just like they are using their own money in their wallets. On the other hand, those residing outside the U.S. should favor Binance, an exchange that can see over $100 million per day in Jasmine transactions. Binance also allows staking, which can help investors boost their returns by up to 6% annually. Opening an account with Binance or Coinbase involves visiting their respective sites, showing identification, and following their website-specific instructions. Meanwhile, investors using Uniswap or another DeFi exchange can use Metamask or another reputable wallet to connect. Let's talk about Vekain. VeChain Vet is a blockchain platform that enhances business processes and supply chain management. The primary purpose of the VE chain currency is to streamline the following procedures. It uses distributed ledger technology to make the flow of information smooth for complex supply chains. VE chain has devised two different tokens. The VE chain VT token is subjected to transfer value throughout the VE chain network, which acts as a value layer. VE chain Thor Energy VTHO is used as a fuel to provide better sustainability to a transaction presided by smart contract and coherently forms the smart contract layer. It offers a full view of how an organization processes its information flow by extracting it from the data silos. For example, the VT blockchain allows proof of work POW to be conducted for every transaction. This means that the people conducting a transaction can mine more VTHO if their initial estimate was wrong. According to the primary features of Vekain, provides better insight into the processes that go inside the supply chain. It is regarded as a utility token developed to transfer services and goods all through the supply chain, provides higher priority to the token holder in the blockchain network, uses only proof of authority that is approved by validators. Each validator approves addition to the blockchain. It has an inbuilt mobile wallet that you can use for the transaction. It has partnered with PWC to run an incubation program. VeChain VT is considered a healthy investment as the price of a single token has increased over time. It is also beneficial for companies that use the VeChain blockchain as it allows better monitoring of the supply chain. Investing in VeChain can be profitable in the long term. The VeChain cryptocurrency has become very popular in recent days. You can use them in the following ways. Exchange and trading. The VE chain exchange can also be used for trading as it has a mobile wallet that makes it very easy. Investment. Investing in a VE chain coin can be profitable as the coin prices are subjected to increase in the future. International transfer. Enhances the transfer of digital currencies all across the globe. Online payment. The VT tokens can easily be used for online payments. As many e-commerce websites use them as payment methods. According to the pros and cons of VeChain. Pros. 
Better Insights provides better insight into the processes that go inside the supply chain. Collaborated with PwC. It has collaborated with PwC, which makes it more valuable. Transparency Reporting. It maintains transparency by publishing timely financial reports. Cons. Closed Currency. It does not collaborate with any other cryptocurrency as it has a closed ecosystem. Built for Giants. It was only built for a larger supply chain. How does VeChain work? VeChain is one of the most famous users of the Proof of Authority POA consensus protocol. In POA, identity is used as a stake to validate transactions and the creation of new blocks. Validators earn their position through their reputation and are therefore incentivized to maintain the transaction process in order to also maintain their reputation. Anonymity is not an option and disclosing one's identity is a prerequisite for VT holders who wish to become a validator. Contrary to consensus mechanisms like proof-of-work POW, POA is not energy-intensive and does not require a minimum number of validators to reach consensus, contributing to comparatively fast transaction speeds. The ICO for VeChain VET is yet to be announced. The VeChain network of blockchain was launched in the year 2015 and was heavily rebranded in 2018. In order to make good on all of its promises, VeChain must provide business with timely and secure consensus. To that end, the platform introduces a proprietary consensus mechanism known as Proof of Authority, POA. This protocol provides an efficient means to maintain system continuity. The POA consensus mechanism was built to improve upon the shortcomings found in Proof of Work, POW, Proof of Stake, PS, and designated Proof of Stake, DPoS mechanisms. Critically, POA requires less energy consumption as opposed to Bitcoin, which requires nodes to communicate and validate transactions, there is no requirement for communication between nodes to reach consensus on the VeChain blockchain. VeChain relies on a group of 101 master nodes to achieve consensus. This strategy improves transaction times significantly. Surprisingly, there are no anonymous nodes within this network. You must complete KYC and AML ID verification before you can validate blocks in this system. The developers believe this approach is essential to their balanced market strategy. Interestingly, VeChain also utilizes economic masternodes. These nodes can vote on issues regarding the VeChain ecosystem. For every 10,000 VT an economic masternode holds, they get one vote. Staking. VeChain users can also stake their VT to earn some passive income. Staking requires you to hold your VT in a network wallet that remains online for a preset time period. The longer you stake your VT, the more you earn. Governance. Keeping in line with VeChain's goal to provide a balance between centralization and decentralization, votes are dispersed based on the amount of VT a person holds. Individuals that hold over 1 million VT are responsible for 20% of the vote. Those users that verify their identity and hold 1 million VT get 30% of the vote. The rest is split up between the community. VeChain Price History. Like other cryptocurrencies, VeChain is considered a highly volatile asset. Its price has fluctuated through highs and lows throughout its existence, and there's no way to make a guaranteed VT price prediction. As always, it's important to do your own research before investing in crypto. From the launch of VT on the VeChain Thor blockchain in 2018 to the first few months of 2021, the price hovered around the 0.005 euros mark. Starting in January 2021, the price shot up, reaching its all-time high of 19 cents first in April 2021 and then the same again in May 2021. The price dropped significantly again and has failed to reach its former peak. Currently, VT is trading at an average daily high of 0.0244 euros and an average daily low of 0.0227 euros. The supply of VT is fixed at 86,712,634,466 tokens. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and invest wisely. Thanks.